Well, there's some backlash growing at George Washington University down in Washington after a liberal student's op-ed in the campus newspaper took aim at conservatives. Student Nassim Othman writing, GW doesn't need more dialogue on campus between the right and the left. We need for conservatives to be called on to reevaluate their political views and their actions. A conservative student firing back writing this, the opinion piece written by Otham reflects a larger problem with liberals on GW's campus. They demand conservatives change their mind on issues, yet they refuse to engage in any sort of dialogue. Joining us right now is that student behind the response, Abigail Marone. She is a junior at GW University and a member of the GW College Republicans. Good morning to you, Abigail. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me on. So what was it about this person's op-ed that just got your blood boiling where you had to return uh, your thoughts in the op-ed? Well, the first part that really bothered me was that the student was bragging about harassing Jason Chaffetz. We had had him on campus for an event that I planned, and he was one of the most genuine and engaging speakers we had. And just to see the disrespect on display in this op-ed was really upsetting. But as I continued reading the op-ed, I just realized it was riddled with personal attacks and factual inaccuracies. And anyone who knows me knows I'm not afraid to stand up for myself <laughs> and my beliefs, and I just felt compelled to respond. Sure. Well, and Abigail, you cite the need for more dialogue. We're, we're continuously seeing this shutting down, particularly of conservative speakers on college campuses. Why do you think the left or liberals are so afraid to have that open dialogue or discuss opinions and ideas? You know, I'm really not sure because at the end of the day, dialogue doesn't hurt anyone. If you don't like what someone is saying, you can just not change your mind. But the problem is when you don't have the dialogue at all, you're really just increasing the partisan divide on campus. I'm all for debates. I'm all for respectful dialogue. I love talking about politics. But to hear a student openly admit that they don't want more dialogue is really is really just stunning on GW's campus. No, the dialogue, you, you get this wrong, uh, Abigail. The dialogue is... You two talk, and then you, the conservative, change your mind. <laughs> According right. to the that, author of this op-ed, That's, that's right? what they would like to happen, right? But they won't even talk to us. So uh -huh. here we are with our opinions still. And it's not the conservatives who don't want to have the conversation. It's the liberals on campus. And did this uh, writer of the op-ed, uh, who is bad-mouthing Jason Chaffetz, did he actually go to the event? He did not. He actually mm. ran into Jason before the event at a restaurant on campus. Um, and that's where he, in his words, not mine, quote unquote, berated the congressman and was proud of it. And he didn't come to the event, which was open to the entire GW student body. And Jason stayed after as long as he needed to, to answer every single person's questions. All well, right. Abigail, we appreciate you coming and having a dialogue with us this morning. So you have a great day and thank you.